seriousness in this video uh, about me you know what I'm saying getting rid of 70% of my clothes I'm gonna take some shit off you know what I'm saying be a little more serious right and there's some things I want to talk to y'all in this video so wardrobe change you know what I'm saying if you haven't known I've been dressing a little bit more mature clothing type stuff and I love it I feel like it gives me the utmost confidence I feel like it also makes me be more social and I'll tell you just like this when I started going to this hotel, this coffee shop that's in this hotel, and I started doing deep work there, I started doing work there, studying where the kids may be. I was wearing dress casual clothes. I was wearing like dress pants, dress shoes, and like a button down type stuff, right? Not, not the chain with it, and a button down. And when I was there, I was very productive, but I was also very social. I was having good social skills, giving the eye contact, talking to people, having conversations, doing yes, uh, uh, nice to meet you. You know what I'm saying? Being extremely social and just having like, just wanting to talk to people type stuff. Then I noticed the third time I went there, I went there in a purple rain shirt from Walmart, that little purple rain graphic shirt from Walmart. Some jeans, if I'm not mistaken, and some white shoes. I didn't feel like talking to nobody. Now, for granted, I did go there later, but, I didn't feel like talking to no one. I didn't feel like, I didn't feel like conversating like that. I didn't feel like networking like that. I didn't feel like talking to people, right? But for some reason, when I, when I got this clothes on, I just feel like that nigga. Like, I just feel like that guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it's like, I be, I be hearing shit. I be hearing shit when I'm in like a regular sitting like Walmart or something like that. Like, I remember one time when I first popped out with my long sleeve button down, I heard a lady say, is this, is this, is this, is this place fancy? She was, we was in Walmart though. We was in Walmart. Long sleeve, dress shoes, dress pants, we like these, you know what I mean? Big drip, big drip. And she was like, is this place fancy? I, 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 and, um, yeah. I, I, honestly, when I said in my other video that putting myself in embarrassing situations is fun to me, that's kind of what it is. Like, some people may, some people may switch up their wardrobe and then someone may make a comment on it. And then they, they then they crawl back to their comfort zone of being scared and they want to go back to the black tee, the Mary jeans, and the Dior shoes. They want to go back to that comfort zone, you know what I'm saying? And honestly, I laughed when like the, the shorty said that. Like, she didn't say it to my di directly, and I don't think I don't know if she was saying it to me, but the way that things lined up, I feel like she was definitely commenting on me. But I don't think she had ill intent. And I laughed at it. I brushed it off, and bro, I just felt con like I don't know what it is. It's like, like the dress pants and shoes, like the 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 button down, my muscles popping out. Like it just gave me a whole new confidence. It make me, it make me feel confident. It made me want to just do shit, have fun. Um, it just made me feel good, and feeling good is gonna make you want to, you know, what I'm saying that's also the vid. Cause I made a video about how to raise your vibration and. This is one thing that can switching up your wardrobe and trying out some new shit that you may have you may like that shit can raise your vibration because it can make you have more confidence and make and then that confidence make you want to be more social and you being social can lead to you maybe networking with someone that is that a value or just someone that's dope you know what I'm saying and um yeah I think everyone should try to just 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 like clean up a whole lot of shit do a do a digital cleanup. Clean out all them photos. Clean out that. Clean up that Snapchat memory from your ex, because in about three months or, or whatever, y'all niggas, Snapchat gonna be like one year ago. You may see that little. <laughs> nah, Snapchat memories from one year ago is crazy. Cause imagine you like imagine a nigga going through the, the the worst breakup ever, right? And he just get himself together. Snapchat just say memory from a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> then the nigga gotta go. Nah, that's crazy. But yeah, 
I think everyone should just clean up everything. Do a digital cleanup. Like clean up, clean out your phone, delete shit, delete. Look at apps you don't use like that, right? So clean up your phone, right? And then not even clean up, clean up and upgrade. Clean up and upgrade. Like even like my bathroom is right next to me. Is that it had like some green, like uh green rug and green type of stuff. So it was a little more feminine looking, right? And the rug was a little bit dirty. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna I was thinking about cleaning up. And you know, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just replace it. So I went to um Burlington and I got this nice, beautiful black rug. It looks so amazing. So I I, I definitely think everyone, you watching this video. Clean up the room, clean up your phone, change your, that's another thing that I do. I, I, I have moments where like I'll clean up my phone, I'll do a digital cleanup, and I'll change my wallpaper so it gives me like that new fresh vibe, you know what I'm saying? Just give a whole bunch of shit a new fresh vibe. That That's one thing that I think that increased my enjoyment of items and, and, and being able to have a new gratefulness. It's like a relationship. Like there's a lot of people that's in relationships, they feel like they need to spice it up. So spice, the, and it spicing things up work. So if you can spice up a relationship and start to enjoy a relationship and not be so complacent within it, you can also spice up your own life. And you can spice up your own life with your wardrobe. You can spice up your own life with the way your room is. But I love this oil diffuser. I, but I love, I love this fake plant. I, bro, there's so much shit that I love and I'm extremely grateful for my room because I'm, I'm continuously adding on to it. I'm continuously adding on to things that make me feel good. I... There's been a moment where I bought incense. Incense, I love it. Candles. I have like five candles on my on my dresser. Like, you know what I'm saying? So just start trying some shit. Um, but this video is more about getting rid of clothes. So yeah, I, I I I didn't really get rid of clothes, like throwing it out type stuff, but I have changed up my wardrobe to wear more mature clothes. And I love it. Um and they're not expensive. This is like this is like $13, maybe. Um, the pants, I think it was like 20, 15. The dress shoes. Every nigga got dress shoes from, from when they from when they mama take, hey, go come to church. We're going to church. Oh, we had graduation. That that's two things that you can't really dodge like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you you got dress shoes from either church or from when you grad when you graduate. You know what I'm saying? So the dress shoes I already been had, the pants I got them. They, they nice as hell. Come on. Come on. Look at my dress. Look at my dress. Look at my dress. Look at my dress. Come on. I'm fucking that. You know what I'm saying? But nah. I love it. Like, spice up a whole bunch of shit in your life. Spice up. Like, even that's what I've been doing. Spicing up my environment. Like, I don't be in the crib like that. The only time I be in the crib is to eat, sleep, and record videos. Other than that, I'm either at my job, Amazon, I'm at the hotel studying, I'm at another hotel chilling outside, or I'm outside going Walmart shopping, whatever the case may be. I like, and I love it. So yeah, I got rid of clothes. I, um, I, I guess I can tell you some places that I've been buying my clothes if you're inspired and you want to. So like I said, inexpensive. Uh, this I got from Ross, Dress for Less. Ross, Dress for Less, um, and Sheen. I actually just did a whole haul. I bought like five button down. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you. I'm really getting it. Oh, this right here. I got this from, um, I got this from Ross. That's stuck on, it's crazy. But I got this from Ross, Dress for Less too. I loved it. This is fire. I love the jacket. It's fire when I have like a black tee. I'm gonna show y'all. All live. Uh, I'm not. I'm not editing this. I'm like, why was I editing this? I'm not editing this, but y'all gonna y'all gonna see a, a grown man undress in front of you. So I'm not editing this. Like my flipping chain got off. My flipping, <laughs> my flipping chain got off. But nah, man. Like, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna talk to y'all while I do this. But yeah, just start buying yourself nice shit. This chain costs forty dollars. Like this shit is it's, it's inexpensive to get yourself nice stuff. Now, don't don't go out here wearing fake diamonds. As you can see all my jewelry, right? All my jewelry is silver. The watch, it looks like a Cartier, but it's not trying to be a Cartier. It's it's a silver watch. 
I actually have a picture while I'm, while I'm in one of the while I'm in the hotel, and the way it shined, it looked like some diamonds. And honestly, bro, you don't need to wear fake diamonds, bro. Silver jewelry is good enough, bro. It's bro, look at my jewelry, nigga. Nigga, silver jewelry is good enough, bro. Like it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? Um. So yeah, very inexpensive. This watch, this watch actually has a story. I was going through some tough times, right? Um, it was when I'm not. I, I'm not gonna say when, what what happened. I've said it before, but I don't want to just keep saying it. But it's when I was going through some tough times, right? And uh, I wanted to buy myself to cheer myself up because this, there was uh, this moment in my life where, like, I just saved bread and I had like a very scarcity mindset with money. So, like, for, literally for months, like. I didn't buy myself shit at all. And the only time I spent money was like food or someone asked me for money. So like whenever I spent money, it was just something that like wasn't enjoyable. Like I just I just had to kept I was had to kept giving money for certain shit. And I, I didn't cause I had I didn't buy myself stuff because I had such a scarcity mindset of money and I just I was focused on so much being frugal and saving bread and you know what I'm saying? So uh what happened was I was going through some shit. I was like, F it, bro. I'm gonna buy myself something. So um, I bought this watch. I love this watch, bro. This watch is, bro, this watch is so fire, bro. Like, it looked like a Cartier. Um, and I got the rings. Uh, these shits came from like a pack at Amazon. The chain. So these is like maybe like 50 cents each. Like, cheap as hell, like $2 each. It came in like a, a 15 ring pack for like $20. So I, I don't know the math. But this shit's inexpensive. You know what I'm saying? The chain, forty dollars. This, this Nick Danger, um, leather jacket. I think this was like thirty dollars, but like for retail, it's like a hundred or something like that. Type shit. But yeah, it's, it's very inexpensive to change up your wardrobe and try shit out. You can go to Sheen, go on Sheen. You can go to Ross Josh for Dress for Less. You can go to Burlington. You can go to TJ Maxx. But I remember. Oh my god. Y'all bringing me back, bro. I remember when I was like a kid, bro. I remember I used to go shopping at like. TJ Maxx and my mom used to give me like all these polos for like the low low. And I remember it's like my 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 drip used to be my drip used to be a polo shirt, some khaki shorts. <laughs> what was my mom doing? What was she doing with me? What was she doing to me? Bro, my drip was my drip was <laughs> my drip was a polo shirt, khaki shirt. I think it was for school though. I think it was for school though. Yeah, I think it was for school. But my drip was like polo shirt, khaki shorts, and like the, these, it was like these polo shoes. Yeah, I ever saw that meme when the white guy's like this? Yeah, it was those shoes. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was those shoes. Um, so yeah, what was some other moments like me having like different type of drip? Then um, there's a moment where Bro, even like my shoes, bro. This is one video. I, this is something that I was talking about in my other video. So it was this moment, right? Because I've, I've been doing YouTube for a while, and there's a moment that I wanted to do a, uh, I wanted to do a sneaker review. You know what I'm saying? I got these sneakers. My mom bought me these sneakers, and I wanted to do a sneaker review. I had my little Chromebook. I had my phone. I wanted to record it. The thing is, those sneakers were Air Jordan flights. <laughs> they were Air Jordan flights. My first ever Jordans were Air Jordan flights. I didn't get real Jordans until eighth grade. Yeah, nigga, I was going, nigga, niggas was going through it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, the first ever Jordans I had, and I did a sneaker review for Air Jordan flights. I, I, I will always remember those shoes. They were white, gray, and black. And they had like the little splats with like gray. I actually really like those shoes. And... Yeah, bro. I remember doing like a, a sneaker review on them, and I I was so happy, bro. Like I was so, and this is what's messed up about this world, right? I was so happy when I got them shoes. Like I was like, I was like, thank you, mom. Like I felt so grateful. I gave her a hug. I'm like, hey. I started dancing in the mirror. Like I felt so good. I felt so happy, like to ever get my first Jordans, because everyone talking about Jordans and. Like, I was so, I felt so good. Time, time, time comes to when I go to school.
Niggas like, bro, it's Jordan Flight? Oh my God. Oh my God. They like, come on, Jordan Flight? Oh my God. Leave me alone. Let me leave. Let me breathe. <laughs> Let me breathe, bro. Okay, they're Jordan Flights. Okay, fuck. Let me live, bro. They're Jordans, right? They may be flights, but damn. Let me live. <laughs> but nah, yeah, this video is just about, you know what I'm saying, changing up your wardrobe, getting rid of clothes. Like, just do the whole cleaning. It's not even about, you don't even have to change your wardrobe or try to dress more mature, but I'm saying just cleaning things up, cleaning out your dressers, like when shit that you don't use, cleaning out, just being a little, having a more minimalistic life. That's something that I've been doing. It's been, I've been very minimalistic. Even this is my wallpaper, my wallpaper is black. I did that also so it's like, I don't want to keep on my phone because it's like the black screen is not really that attractive when you keep on. But even just like my space is very minimalistic. I don't have too much extra shit to manage, to clean up. I, it's very minimalistic. And I think if you have like an area where you could, you have like a storage area or area you could like put shit away, put a whole bunch of shit in boxes like you about to move. Like act like you about to move, right? And when you about to move or when you about to go on vacation, you don't, want, you don't want to get the best investment when you go on a vacation. So act like you about to go on vacation and you about to move and put all the shit that you don't care about in the box, all right? Or put all the shit that you care about in the box and just separate them. And then just, just look at what it is. Look look at what you feel is the best quality. What would you go on vacation with? Because what you go on vacation with is going to be what makes you feel the most confident, what you like to wear the most. The other shit is going to be just other shit. And then once you do that, you realize, okay, I can clean up a lot of this shit and just start to wear whatever this that makes me feel confident, whatever this that I really enjoy, I really like, whatever this that I think is high quality. And you may love it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'm just saying, uh, start to be a little bit more minimalistic digitally uh, and upgrade. Upgrade is very important. And that's how you stay grateful within a lot of things that you have. Like I'm extremely grateful for my car. And it's because I bought accessories for my car and I just love my car in general. Like I have like LED lights on the bottom. Um, I'm extremely grateful for a lot of things. I'm grateful for the people that watch my videos. I'm grateful for clothes. I, I, I love my clothes. I love my wardrobe. Um, I'm just grateful for shit and, you know, continuously spicing things up, continuously changing things and just having fun with it. Like, like, bro, when I, when I put on the glasses, bro, it's really a joke, bro. I'm not, I'm not seriously, bro. I, I'm not serious. I'm not serious. That, if y'all didn't watch my second channel, I talked about me working out in glasses. Like, I'm not serious, but it's fun. I just have, I, I just have fun with this shit, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I have fun with this jacket, bro. It's just fun. It's like, it's just fun. Like wearing a whole leather jacket. Like, come on, you like, 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 is this not drip? Is this, is this not drip? Like, is this not drip? Come on, bro. This, this is fine. I don't know about you, but this is fine to me, at least. Like, this is tough. Like, bro, look at it. Like, the, oh my, nigga, this is a fire pose like this. Like, hold on. <laughs> Someone, someone send me a screenshot. Someone send me a screenshot. But imagine me like this, right? I'm lay, I'm sitting back like this. You know what I'm saying? Got a little cigar. Oh, I just like. Nah, that's fire, bro. With the rings, like, bro, add some rings in your wardrobe. Get you a nice watch for like thirty dollars, forty dollars, right? And just try some shit. Just try some. Shit. I'm not saying you have to be walk around in dress pants and dress shoes like what I'm doing in a leather jacket. Looking like you taught the creator. I'm not saying you got to do that, but just just clean some shit up, upgrade shit, upgrade your room, upgrade your wardrobe, upgrade your life, upgrade your environment, upgrade the quality of your lifestyle, just the quality of life that you have. That's what's very important. That's what it all stems down to. We're all getting money to just upgrade the quality of our life, and upgrade quality of our life. It just it could be. You know, time freedom, money freedom. It could be not living paycheck to paycheck. It could be giving stuff to our mothers. Like everything stems down to having a higher quality of life. Just working out, higher quality of your health. Your diet, higher quality of your health. Getting money, higher quality of life and lifestyle and, and distress. Niggas don't want to stress about making money. Niggas don't want to stress about if they're going to be able to make rent. Like, niggas don't want to do that, bro. So. 
That's what I was thinking down to. But nah, man, if you don't know I am, my name is V Dot, and I have a community of like minded men and women that wants to progress mentally, physically, financially, and spiritually. If you want to do that, I give you this ticket of becoming a jumbo boy. Use it wisely because it is your pre 100k ticket. I hope y'all enjoy the video, and I'm out. Yo, y'all let me know. If y'all wanna see if y'all gonna start trading up your drip, y'all let me know some of the shit y'all think is fire. Let me know if y'all think this this fit is fire. I honestly I don't give if you care or not. But I just wanna hear y'all insights when it comes to changing up your wardrobe, throwing on clothes, and just things in those, you know, regards. But nah man, hope y'all enjoy the video. I'm out. Okay.